If you're thinking about creating an online course or perhaps you've already created an online course and are looking for ways to test your students' knowledge and keep them engaged, then keep watching because I'm gonna show you how you can do just that using Thrive Apprentice. Coming right up. Okay, so before we get started, you should know that Thrive Apprentice is a plugin for WordPress. You need to have built your website on WordPress if you want to assess your students in the way in which I'm about to show you. I recommend using Thrive Suite to do so. With it, you'll be able to create your WordPress theme, build out your landing pages, create lead generation quizzes, and of course, it will also give you access to Thrive Apprentice. There's a link in the description box that you can click on to sign up for Thrive Suite. Once you've done so, you simply need to download our product manager from our website, upload it into the plugin section of your WordPress site and install Thrive Apprentice alongside any of our other tools. Now, before I jump into the assessment side of Thrive Apprentice, let's quickly talk about how to create a rock solid course. In Thrive Apprentice, every course needs to have a product associated to it if you wish to restrict access to who can take your course. Products will also allow you to create bundles of courses, posts, pages, and other areas of your website as well, which is pretty cool. But if you simply want to give away your course for free, then you don't have to create a product. You can just have people sign up to your WordPress website using a simple sign up form on any of your pages. Let's assume that this is the case and that we wish to let people take our course for free. We now need, well, to create our course. In my case, it's going to be a course about how to become a Thrive Architect expert. I'm gonna call it something along the lines of Thrive Architect from beginner to pro. And I wanna structure my course into five different modules. I want to have a module about Thrive Architect Essentials that will go over the basic principles of designing a page using Thrive Architect. I'd like to also have a module about Thrive Architect widgets that goes over each widget included in Thrive Architect and how to best use it. A module about development in which we build some real life websites one more advanced module in which we do some more advanced web design layouts, and one last module about optimizing our Thrive Architect build pages. Modules give us the skeleton of our course. Think of modules as being sections about different topics of what our course covers. And lessons, on the other hand, is each of the bones that makes up our skeleton. In Thrive Apprentice, we can have text lessons, we can have video lessons, we can do audio lessons, and we can even mix and match them. See, here's the thing. We can fully customize the content of each of our lessons however we want. Once we have our lessons created with real content inside of them, we are now ready to test our students' knowledge. In my case, I wanna test students at the end of module one to see if they thoroughly understood the basics of how Thrive Architect works. To do this, I've created a new type of quiz assessment. Now, important. In order to be able to quiz our students with, with a quiz, we need to make sure that we've created a quiz inside Thrive Quiz Builder. Let me show you how I did that. I've created a new score quiz inside Thrive Quiz Builder. It's made up of 10 multiple choice questions such as, you know, what's the difference between margins and paddings? What widget should you use to split content into a side-by-side -side section on your page? And so forth and so on. In order to pass this quiz, students need to get at least eight questions correct. And inside our assessment configuration, we can tell Thrive Apprentice to automatically pass students if they do indeed get eight questions correct. Otherwise, they'll have to retake the quiz until they pass. Okay, I also want an assessment at the end of module three, our development module. And in this case, I want to create a new type of URL assessment. The idea here is to have users submit their own landing page that they should be able to build with Thrive Architect at this point. For our optimization module, let's just have users upload a 500 word essay on best practices to keeping a Thrive Architect build page as fast as possible. And to do this, we simply need to create a new upload type of assessment, enable the option for users to upload a PDF or a Word document, and boom, we are good to go. Now, since we do wanna make sure that users complete assessments before they can move on to the following lesson, we do need to enable a new type of drip campaign. Drip campaigns allow us to set up how you wish users to complete your course. For example, you can have a drip campaign that unlocks access to a new lesson every Monday, or you can have a drip campaign that unlocks access to a new module on the first of every month. In our case, we're going to do a new type of sequential drip campaign. And as you can see, 
This campaign locks all of our lessons and modules with the exception of the very first lesson of our course, which makes sense, right? I mean, if we want users to proceed through our course in order, completing and passing assessments, they need to start at the very beginning. But we do need to tell Thrive Apprentice if there are any additional rules other than our sequential unlock condition that students need to follow, which there is. I mean, we, need, we want to unlock module two only when the quiz inside module number one has been passed. And we want to do the same thing for module number four. We want to make sure that we only unlock that one when the assessment inside number three, which is the one where users need to give us the URL to their landing page, has been submitted. And before we go, why don't we certify students? You see, it's only fair that we hand out a certificate that says that our students are officially pro Thrive Architect builders after having completed all of these lessons and assessments. Let's go ahead and do this. Inside the course completion tab, let's go ahead and activate the option to issue a course completion certificate. We can obviously customize the look and feel of it. And what's even better, there are a bunch of cool templates to pick from. And of course, users can download their certificate from the course completion page that Thrive Apprentice automatically generates for us. Hopefully this video has helped you get a big picture overview of how you can power a course with Thrive Apprentice and test your students' knowledge in a variety of different ways. I'm down in the comment section below in case you have any questions. And remember that there is a link in the description box that you can click on if you need to grab a license to Thrive Apprentice at the best possible price. Truly appreciate your time and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.